So in this video tutorial, we're going to look at how you get .mts files from your Sony camera through Handbrake and into Sports Code. So first step is what we want to do is open up your Safari, and we're going to go to download the Handbrake software, which is a free software. So I'm going up here to Handbrake.a4, and I'm going to click on Download. Once you click on Download, uh, depending on what version of the OS you're on, it will take just a minute to download, and once it is, it'll be in your downloads folder. So once Handbrake is down, I can go to my hard drive, go to my downloads folder, and I can see here that it's downloaded. So to install it, I just double click, and then what I do is I grab it, pull it onto my desktop, from there we can pull it into our applications just by dragging and dropping. And then to uh, create a shortcut, I can go to my applications, find the handbrake icon, and just pull it to my dock on the side, and then I just release it. So once we've got our handbrake downloaded, uh, we just need to download some presets. So to do that, go to your Safari again, open up sportsdeck.com, you're going to the support section, to the downloads, from the download section, you're going to choose download previous versions and from there you can download the handbrake presets it's a very tiny file so it'll just take a couple of seconds to pull down again go in here to your downloads folder or wherever your downloads folder is depending on what version of the OS you're using and we can see there that I've got the sports tech handbreaker presets so I'll pull them out and they're now on my desktop. So in this case, we're going to try and take MTS files from a Sony camera. So I've taken the card out of the camera, I've popped it into the machine, and you can see it appears here on my desktop uh, with an icon for an SD card. So I'll double click on that, and we see the file structure of the card. Now with the Sony cameras, on the latest version of the OS, which is Mountain Lion, my MTS files are here in the private folder. If I'm using earlier versions of the OS, I'm just going to pull the stream folder right out of my um, card. So to get it in this latest version, I have to control click. So if I'm using a mouse, it's the right mouse button. Or when I'm using uh, the laptop, I hold down control, I click on it, I say show package contents, I click on the next one. Again, I say show package contents, and then I go to the BDMV folder, and I click again, so it's control click, show package contents, and now it allows me at the stream folder. So here's the list of the MTS files that come in, and for the sake of this, I'm just going to take one of them. You can take the whole folder and pull them in. I'm just going to take uh, these three and pull them onto my desktop. So it'll take just a little bit of time to get them out onto your desktop. So once I've got the MTS files pulled onto my desktop, they appear over here. And our next step is to go and open up the Handbrake software from our dock. So we click on this, and it automatically opens up with the source. So it's going to ask me to try and find the files that I want to convert. So I'm coming here, I know they're on my desktop, I'm clicking on desktop, and here I'm going to go and choose 001.mts, and I'm going to hit open. Okay, now this is the most important part. We want to import those sports code presets that we downloaded. So they're up here on my desktop. So to do that, I come up here to the top toolbar in Handbrake. I go to presets and I hit import. And then again, it asks me to go and find what I want to import. So it's these ones here, the sports tech Handbrake presets. And I want to bring in the PAL preference list. Seeing as we're working with European video formats, we'll click on PAL and we hit open and it imports it in, and I can see that it appears over here in this dropout drawer. If I can't see this drawer on the right, I click here on this toggle presets, and it'll open and close the drawer. So again, most important step is to open up this. We click on the downward facing arrow, and the profile we're always going to choose is fast. So we're never going to choose any of these other ones, as fast works by far the best. It's the most superior conversion format, so we'll click on fast. And now I hit start. So once I hit start, we can see that it starts to convert my clip down here and it tells me how long it's going to take. So if, as in this case, we've got a number of MTS files that we want to convert, these cameras create a new MTS file every couple of gigabytes or so. So even though we don't hit pause or stop during a recording, it creates more than one MTS file. So in this case, we want to convert two MTS files. So I'm going up here to source. 
brings me back to this file path and now I'm selecting the second one that I want to convert so I'm going back in here and I know I've got 001 in there now I want to click on 002 and I'm going to hit open it scans through that file as I'm going to see up here and it tells me that it's okay and now I can hit add to queue at any stage I can show the queue and this is showing the progress as to how many files it's converted so far so here it's showing me it's converting 001 and the next one in the queue is 002 So when your files are fully converted, you get this sign on your desktop telling you that your handbrake queue is done. At that point you can press OK and we can see that out on our desktop we've got the MP4 files. So our final step is we want to get these now converted MTS files um, into GameBreaker. So to do that, if we have a number of them, the easiest way to do it is go up and go File, New Folder, create a new folder and we're going to call this one Game. I can then drag my two mp4s as it is in this case, or as many mp4s as you have, into that folder. We're then going to go and open up either Sports Code or Game Breaker. And we want to knit those movie parts together. So we do want them to remain as separate parts. We want them to be all the one movie. So I go here to File, and I say Make Movie from Folder of Movies. It then asks me to go and find the folder that contains my movies. So I know I've called a game. I can see it out here on my desktop. So I come, I select Game, and I hit Make Movie. And straight away it throws my movie together now we don't want this to remain as two separate parts we want it to be one movie so we want to save it as a standalone so to do that we're going to go file save as and I'm going to call this one game again just make sure you know where you're saving it so I'm going to save this out to my desktop and I hit save as a movie player standalone movie so once the progress bar reaches the end here It'll give me a separate .mov on my desktop, which is all the knitted part together movie parts. So I close that down. I now go File, New, and Timeline. And what we're going to do is attach that final movie onto our timeline. So I'm coming in here, selecting Game, which is my new movie. I hit Open. It's going to ask me, do I wish to place this inside a movie package? And I'm going to hit Yes. As I hit Yes, you'll see that this movie disappears off my desktop and it's replaced by a sports code icon with the name of the file that I've given it game so if I double click on it it now is my movie parts knitted together in a package with a timeline so that's the walkthrough from taking it from your card through handbrake using the handbrake presets from sports code getting it into your desktop creating the movie from the folder of movies saving it as a standalone and then importing it into a timeline and saving as a package